Whether you're installing the CAN 210 or the CAN 380 in a grow room, it's basically the same. With the most common installation done by hanging the dehumidifier from the ceiling. Hanging it not only keeps the floor clear from obstruction, but it also makes sure the unit is running at maximum efficiency since warm, humid air rises in a room. To start, let's unbox your unit and bring it into your room. Even the largest unit, the CAN 380, is designed to fit through a standard 36 inch doorway. The CAN 210 weighs in at 118 pounds, while the CAN 380 is 278. This weight is helpful to know prior to installation, so you can determine ratings on your vibration isolators, as well as determining how many friends you may want to have come help you. Now let's begin with a base or anchor. Most commonly you're going to see steel strut, often called unistrut. This steel channel will be the first step to secure it safely to your structure. In this case, we're going to use lag bolts. Lag bolts are designed to support heavy loads, and we'll make sure we're screwing several of these into a structural element of the building. This is a crucial step, and it's important to note that securing this unit incorrectly can result in serious harm or death. So let's do it right. With this installation, we begin with three pieces of Unistrut four feet long. Using a lag bolt every 12 inches, securing the Unistrut to the joist of the building, the second piece of Unistrut will run parallel to the first. In our case, 16 inches apart, as that's where our next joist is. And repeat that for the third piece. Cut two more pieces of Unistrut at three feet, and then bolt them together using hardware at a 90 degree angle. For the CAN 380, they should be 33 and a half inches apart, and for the CAN 210, 20 inches apart, to match the tabs on the bottom of the dehumidifier. Now with the cage built, it's recommended to add vibration dampeners, which will ensure the unit is running as quiet as possible. We do this by cutting an 8 inch piece of 3 8 threaded ready rod, and then bolt the vibration dampener to the unistrut using washers and lock nuts. Then add a second piece of ready rod. This ready rod will need to be at least as tall as your unit, but you may want this piece longer so your unit hangs lower. This will all depend on your ceiling height. Once your ready rod is in the correct position and is lined up with the tabs on the dehumidifier, you can lift it up and secure it with washers and lock nuts. Now all that's left is to plug in the unit to a 240 volt receptacle and then use the controller to set your relative humidity. The Canadry unit also works with third-party environmental controls, like the Trollmaster Hydro X. This is a common plug-and-play environmental controller used in grow rooms. All you have to do is add the Humidistat HS1 by connecting the black wires. Now, let's consider a few things. Where's the best placement for the unit in your room? Begin by looking at the existing ductwork and see where the air-conditioned air is flowing. You don't want your dehumidifier placed near AC vents. Blowing cold, dry air directly into a dehumidifier makes them very inefficient. If you're planning to have multiple dehumidifiers in the same room, consider spacing them evenly from each other. And make sure you're not blowing any warm, dry air directly into another unit. Also, because these units are maintained by removing service panels, Keep the units a minimum of 18 inches away from the wall so they can be conveniently accessed by a technician. Once installed, make sure your unit is level so that the unit drains properly. To set up the drain, simply plumb it at a downhill pitch until you reach the drain. If you have any other questions or looking for more information, feel free to leave a comment below or contact us at canadry.ca.